Hello, everybody, and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. And I just noticed we don't have a Kerbal knot floating in space. Eh, whatever. All right, so let us actually just screw it. I'm gonna start a game. I like uh, just I just feel like playing Kerbal Space Program. We are gonna play on Career, not Sandbox, because that's more fun that way. Um, we can pick a flag later, yes, but let's see. Anything interesting? NASA, hexagon, minimalistic. It's just a white flag. Trippy, spheres. Ooh, I like spheres. Uh, yes, I want to overwrite. I didn't exactly get that far in my last save game, so it's all good. All right, so what we have here is, well... Kerbal Space Program, it's a game where you pretend that you're actually competent enough to launch something into space. And let's just dive headlong into it. This is not a, like, a Chrono Recommends video, even though I do highly recommend this game. This is just going to be me screwing around with Kerbal Space Program. One, because it's easy, and two, because it's wicked, wicked fun. Let's see what we got. We got... Not a lot. Since I picked career mode, we don't get that much uh, stuff. Like, I don't even get things to detach. Oi. Hmm. How am I going to get this thing into, or like up and then down without killing it? Well, let's do the easy thing. Uh, boom. There's our first rocket. <laughs> let's see what happens. Uh, let's see. What do we got for our crew? We have Jebediah, Bill, and Bob, because I haven't hired any new astronauts yet. But let's just, uh, I don't know, do it. Let's launch our first mini rocket. This is basically just to get up. And then down again. That's kind of the entire point. All right. Uh, and that's a solid stage rocket. We do have SAS, but that's only because it's built into the pod. Hi, Jeb. How's it going? Uh, what science do we have? Not a hell of a lot. Well, here we go. Oh, I done screwed up. Abort, 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 abort. It doesn't work. Well, um, I forgot staging. I, I was an idiot. I forgot to change staging. And we're probably going to die. Yep. Sorry, Jeb. Um, I'm an idiot. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's go. Let's, let's. No. Come on. Thank you. Oy. Anyways, all right, let's 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 try that again, but this time let's be a little bit intelligent and set our staging so that we can actually launch our rocket. And then when it's done, then we can fire off the parachute and we don't lose one of our astronauts. Yep. Sorry, Jeb. Which is a mild shame in the last save game I had. I had him for quite a while as my only astronaut because I only ever launched single crew uh, pods. All right. Hi, Bill. Yes, after after what happened at the last astronaut, I guarantee you that nothing will go wrong here. He lied. Launch! Oh, SAS. It's kind of easy for me to forget things. So, why am I playing Kerbal Space Program and not something else? Well, do I really need an excuse to play Kerbal Space Program? It's freaking awesome, and things blow up quite regularly, especially when I'm playing with it, because I kind of suck at the game. It's one of the few games that I, I'm actually really bad at, but I highly recommend and quite enjoy. It's strange. <clears throat> oh, I actually got up fast enough that I was seeing uh, those air tracer things. I don't know if they're called anything or whatever, but... we. While we're here, let us uh, crew report. Yay, I get 3.5 science. And that's all I can do until we run out of speed and start falling again. <laughs> Will I land on the pad? 
No, because we appear to be drifting ever so slightly to the 270 degree mark. So we'll land beside the pad, but that's okay. I mean, for what little I have for resources, we're doing pretty good already. I mean, we're in orbit. We only killed one pilot. Well, we're not in orbit. We're, we're, well, we can see the curvature of Kerbin. That's, that's, that's a good thing, I guess. Um, can't see the stars yet. Not high enough. So anyways, uh, why am I playing KSP? Well, a couple of reasons. Uh, one, I needed a video, basically. <laughs> Two, I enjoy the hell out of KSP. And three, uh, because Quest for Creative is getting to kind of a hard part. I'm not out of ideas yet, but I have to figure out how to implement them in like a practical way. And that's not easy if we're actually losing speed as we're falling because we're getting into deeper atmosphere so yeah am i gonna land like on the pathway that would be awesome i don't know i can't tell directly i don't know if i'm slightly further past it with the camera or if i'm directly over it it's hard to tell perspective is a pain in the butt all right let's deploy our chute oh i deployed it a little high didn't i I didn't realize I was that far off the ground. Hmm. Alrighty. I think we're going to land right on the middle of the runway. We went over ever so slightly. <laughs> That's as far as we made it. We went over ever so slightly. And our parachute drops, and we're down to 8 meters per second. That's good, because you have to be under 10 meters per second or things start exploding. I'm fairly sure. I'm so glad we can actually fast forward while we're still in the atmosphere. That y It used to be that you couldn't do that. But at least you can now. And I like it. 7.7 .7 meters per second. Come on. Ooh. Small lighting glitch there. In the... the... Okay. Uh, that was unexpected. But hey, I mean, it works out. I can do this now. No, not that button. Uh, this button, EVA. And look, we're outside. <laughs> I can, let's see, let's take a surface sample. Recovery, nine science. I don't even get all science because of that. Whatever. Uh, EVA report. I don't think a spacesuit was entirely necessary to get here, was it? Um, yeah, considering we actually went closer to where we started than when we took off, it would have actually been faster and easier to not go to the launch pad. But hey, that's what happens. Let's put down our flag. Whee. And then we can label it something. First flight. No. Okay, how about just first because I can't spell worth crap. And screw the black. Yay! And then we have to get back in or we lose data that's in the pod right now. So we board. We recover vessel and we get... Crew report while flying over Kerbin Shores. Uh, five science gathered. No, 3.5 science gathered. Surface sample from Kerbal Space Center. 9.0 science. EVA report. 2.4 science. Recovery from a vessel that survived a flight. Basically, I didn't blow it up. Five science. And I got 19 science. Yay! Let's go see what we can buy. Um, basic rocketry. Oh, there we go. Stack the couplers. Now I can have some fun with it. Yes, we are buying this. Five science. Uh, what else we got? We got 14 more science. General rocketry. Costs 20 science. 18 science. 15 science. I can't buy anything else. Crap. Though these would be useful, the radial mount parachutes. Uh, I will be getting them as soon as possible because then I can make more compl complex uh, pods and have more fun with them. All right, so let's get back and build something else. Let's just throw something together really quick. We'll put down a stack decoupler. And then I want... Yes, we have real liquid fuel tanks. So let's put them down. 
Uh, let's throw another one on there for good measure. We'll do a liquid fuel engine. Since we don't have any uh, side decouplers or whatever they're called, we shall do this. Yeah, that'll work. I mean, they don't detach, but I mean, it will get me a little extra boost. I think. I hope it'll work. I don't know if it'll work. Should I put... Yeah, I should. Let's put a Communitron. Uh, no, just one Communitron. Right there. That way we can actually send data. We don't have to worry about bringing it back. Uh, Mystery Goo. Let's actually grab two of these. And the only reason I grab two of these is for balance issues. Because if you just have one of them, it throws off your center of balance. Though, right now, center of balance is a little off to begin with because of that guy right there. But it's minor and it shouldn't hurt anything. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's see. Solid rockers, rocket boosters, central rocket, detach, parachutes. Hmm. Let's add a stage and let's actually separate these two. So we get the liquid fuel rocket firing when we're further up in the atmosphere. Hopefully, 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 we have enough force from the liquid fuel rocket to keep us going. And these guys, we don't have to worry about. Like, they won't weigh us down too much. Hopefully. Let's find out. Probably not. <laughs> this probably won't work very well. But, I mean, it might. It's possible. All right, I'll kick up the thruster now, so I don't, or the throttle now, so I don't have to worry about it. SAS on. Hi, Bill. You ready to fly? Yeah, he doesn't care. Let's go. Whoa. Okay. That's a little too much power. A little bit more power than I expected there. Um, we're going way too fast already. Bit too fast. Um, yeah, well... You don't want to go too fast this deep into the atmosphere because wind resistance actually becomes a severe detriment to your flight and it's significantly less efficient to fly. And we are losing speed, but that's okay. It's not too, too much of a problem because we're still going up. Um, ooh, and we're actually slowing down on our slowing down. Our deceleration curve is actually curving, so we'll eventually be gaining speed. And I'm not terribly worried about gaining speed right now because we're still going too fast. Though since we're in the second layer of the atmosphere, what's it called? The troposphere or something like that? I forget. But since we're in the second layer of atmosphere, we can go a little bit faster without it being too, too much of a problem. Uh, let's see. We are 19,000 meters in the air. Let's start a gradual gravity turn. Though I don't know how useful that will be. But that will get us further out. And we can actually do other s experiments and stuff. Like EVA reports. Crap like that. Further away from Kerbal Space Center. And we'll actually get stuff. Yo. Yo. We'll get more science points than if we just landed at KSP again. KSC? Yeah. Kerbal Space Center. KSC. There we go. And we're accelerating once again. How far are we? We are almost 30,000 meters in the air. I'm not making orbit, but I'm making it surprisingly close. Um, well, okay, I'm not anywhere near close. I mean, space in this game, the music in this game starts at 75,000 meters. And we might make 50. Might. I doubt it, but we might. Um, but we're going to get at least a decent distance. I mean, we're out over the ocean now. That's cool. We're not going to make it to the next continent, but that will be my next goal, is to actually make it to the next continent. And what we'll have to do, because I am not good enough to actually like land on the moon or anything, especially this early in the game, I will have to start exploring uh, Kerbal itself just to get the extra science so we can get the extra stuff. 
How high are we going to get up? Let's check our map. We are... Oh, well, we'll, we'll break 60,000 meters. I didn't expect that. How much fuel do I have yet left? Not a lot. Will we break 70? No. Maybe. Will we? Come on. Yes, we can break 70. Can we make 75? Four. Five. Yes, we'll get the music. We'll make it. We won't make it. I... It's not technically in space, but I think it's close enough for the game. I think the game will think it's in space, but I'm not 100% sure. Um... I don't want you to do EVA. Let's do a quick crew report. Point and see what you say. 3.5 science. Nah. Let's hold off on you until we get above 75,000 meters. And then we'll slam out a whole bunch of experiments. Oh, we got the music and it's at 70,000 meters. All right. Now let's slam out some experiments and see if we get some more stuff. Uh, crew report. Five science. So we got some more. Keep data. Quick little observe mystery goo. 10 science, keep data. Uh, what else can we do? Not a lot. I want to do an EVA, but I don't, yeah, I, I don't want to risk Kurt, Bill getting pulled off with what left, what little atmosphere is left this, still this close to the planet. But hey, we made it. Um, anything else we can do real quick? No, because we don't have that much in the way of experiments to do, really. I just got to wait till we land, I guess. Are we still going? No, I was going to say, are we still going up? No, we're going down. Good. Mono Yeah, mono propulsion. I have RCS fuel? I don't have any RCS. That might just be... His uh, jetpack there. Hm. But hey, we can see the stars. We can see galaxies. Uh, that is... You know what? I don't know if that's a galaxy or a giant star. I don't know, but it's really cool. I wonder if space actually looks like this from space. Like, could you actually see galaxies? I, I don't think so. Um, I saw on Cosmos... Uh, that that the new cosmos a uh, enhanced vision of the night sky and the andromeda galaxy the galaxy the giant galaxy close to us that's actually going to hit us in a few billion years um it, it's actually taking up like a third of the sky but we can't see it because it's too dim so i get the funny feeling that galaxies wouldn't show up like that at least I really, really doubt it. Though it looks really cool. Like, apparently we can't see nebulas either. Like, you know how in Star Trek and all those really cool sci-fis, you see, you know, they're in space and it's like colorful space and all the nebulas and all the really cool stuff. Space doesn't look like that because we can't see those frequencies of light. That's like, well, that's just like radio waves, gamma rays, um, ultraviolet, infrared, that kind of stuff. Just frequencies we can't see. All right, let's get out of here while we break up in orbit. What do I do as I'm coming in, re-entering the atmosphere? Uh, while flying at Kerbin. At Kerbin. Ha ha. Seven science. That's cool. Alrighty, how far away are we? All right, we're still 7,000 meters. We are going to make a water landing. I am not swimming back. Yeah, I'm not swimming back. Screw that crap. <laughs> we can turn off our SAS because that doesn't matter anymore. We're definitely in the atmosphere, at least. We're slowing down. Kind of. And I'll wait till about 1,000 meters, then I'll pop the chute. Two, one, pop. And we should make a nice, soft, pretty landing. I bet you that hurt. <laughs> Let's see. That's one G, two, three, four, five. So it made it up to nine Gs. Well, that's not bad. And let's think. If I go inside the cockpit here, 
oh, that was the that was the rest of my rocket landing. I'm like, wait, I didn't hit the water yet. Uh, so the the window's up there. So that means that he is facing the sky at the moment. Uh, v, thank you. Yeah, he's actually pointed up, so his chair is sideways. That means he took those nine Gs backwards. And science, interesting science, has determined that a human body, I don't know about Kerbins, but a human body can support up to 80 Gs as long as it's taking taken backwards. So uh, it, 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 from your point of view, it would be like an accelerative force, not deceleration. Yeah, don't ask me. I don't fully understand, but uh, that's what I heard anyways. Uh, let's see. Let's do an EVA. Uh, let go. Standing on the pod. Can I take a surface sample? Yes, I can. Uh, you scooped up a sample of the surface. It's a very humid sample. You hope the equipment has been properly waterproof. It's a very humid sample. It's an ocean. Ah, keep the data. Yes. Um, I have a problem. Come on. Into the pod. There we go. Okay. Because you got to get into the pod and then hit recover to recover all of the data you got. So if I didn't rec if I didn't get into the pot, I wouldn't have gotten either of these mystery goos or the crew report. So we have 53 science now. Awesome. That's a lot of science. Let's see what we can buy now. All right. So we got 53 science. I do want this one because we can start making more complex things. But, oh, there's radial decouplers. I want those. Uh, let's see. 18 science. 15 science. I can buy both. So let's buy both. Let's do exactly that. And then we have lights. Ooh, that's cool. The science junior. This is the reason I got these. The radial mount, mounted parachutes is because the science junior has to come back. Uh, so what we can do is we can attach the science junior to the pod without a decoupler. And then we put two of the radial parachutes on a side there. And it, it, it will land nice and soft. No problems. Uh, that also has a nice rechargeable battery pack. And what is that? Oh, that's the upgraded communication system. I want that too. So many things I want. So little time. Uh, we have 20 science left. Hmm. Ooh, big ass solid, solid fuel boosters. Let's grab them. All right. I may have made a mistake by grabbing all three of them so early on in the game. I sh might have been better suited to, sp you know, specialize. But, you know, screw that. <laughs> we all make mistakes. And I am going to end this episode here. Don't worry. I will be coming back. Well, I guess unless everybody pops up on the comments and goes, No, screw you. Quit playing this game. Though, I actually have had several comments in the past is like keep playing ksp because ksp is awesome so hopefully you guys enjoy it and i will see you guys in the next episode as always keep playing the game and have fun mm -hmm.